Hello everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Uh, and today is Thursday, I think the 9th of June. Uh, yesterday was my doggie's birthday. We did not celebrate. She did not know the difference. Um, but she turned 15 yesterday. So um, she's still alive and kicking, so that's good news. Uh, and this is going to be Charm Chatter number, I think, 316. I just looked in, you know, short-term memory, first to go. Uh, but I wanted to show you, I won a prize. And I received <clears throat> um, my prize winnings in the mail yesterday, or maybe the day before. I was so tired yesterday when I came home from work, I just didn't want to do anything much. Um, but I want to show you what I won. So, uh, of Amanda Carlisle from Obsessively crochet from the uh, her youtube channel is obsessively crochet lady oh come on focus now you were focused a second ago there you go and this is her deets on here there it goes again not focusing there we go uh she makes stitch markers and um that's what i want she sent me a little card in look at this it's got a yarn skinny yarn on the back um <laughs> uh, and her um her business card and then she made handmade <clears throat> excuse me stitch markers for me and I just need to share them because oh my goodness you guys so freaking adorable now this is um, hand crocheted she, well she made keychains but I can use it as stitch marker or keychain and I'll show you that in a minute so look at this this is obviously an elephant head, and she crocheted it with, I swear to God, string. Um, look at how adorable that is. Just so cute. So then she put it on a, a like stitch marker clasp and attached it to a keychain, so I can use it as a keychain or a stitch marker. Um, too cute, right? Too cute. But not only did she make me one, she made me Two. Now this is not just the head of the elephant. This is his whole body. He's got a little tail and little footsers and the ears. Oh my goodness. Look at the details. Oh, come on. Focus, stupid, stupid camera. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? I could never. I could never do that. She must have used a hook. I don't know, like a 0.25 or something. I, uh, just incredible. Totally love them. And if that wasn't enough, she made me more stitch markers and she put them on a D-claw. Um, so I have this uh, like oak leaf, two elephants, and some acorns. So cute. And these, uh, some of these have these beads that look like cracked glass. I'll again try to get it to focus. There you go. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. So I totally love them. Uh, she did put some purple in there, knowing that that's my favorite color. So I am so thrilled to death with all of my stitch markers. So thank you so much, Amanda. If you don't know Amanda, the obsessive crochet lady, um, you need to go visit her and show her some love. And I will link her channel below so that uh, you have the opportunity to do that very easily. So again, thank you so much because those are just too much, just too much. So I thought I would uh, take an opportunity to show you what I'm working on, uh, some progress, like little progress reports. Um, today is Thursday and it's Nan's Next Knots Day and I am so far behind on that. I really wanna catch up this weekend. Um, so cross your fingers. But I have two other projects in the works. But I got the big things taken care of. But then there's another but. Always another but. Um, I still have some hobby yarn that I need to create a project with. So <clears throat> I also want to work on that this weekend. I know. I know. It's too much. But I will show you the progress of the things that I am working on. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, so dry. Um, 
So this is the crochet calendar, and this is the blanket that we're supposed to be producing this month if you're doing the blanket or whatever, you know, kind of square motif thing you want to make. Um, this is the, the original design, and I decided that I was going to make a blanket. So it's in like three stages. They, you make this part, the, the circle in the middle, and then you do this shell thing around in your color, and then you come back and do a shell looks like something in the white again, and you, then you put it together as you go. And if you can get a close-up of that, see? That's like really pretty, the, the join. I'm really anxious to see how they join this because I love crochet as you go joins, and this one is unique. I've never seen one that like has this little pattern in it before. So I'm real excited to uh, give this a go, but I'm not that far yet because I'm going to do, I've done, you need 63 squares. I've done all the circle parts, which, you know, wasn't hard. Uh, and I did those mostly at work. And now I'm starting the outside squares. Now I am going, they call this a scrap um, blanket. You just pull out scraps of yarn and do whatever, you know, colors you want to do. I'm not doing it that way. I um, decided that I wanted to make mine in red, white, and blue and give it to my daughter. I'm sorry, my color keeps fading in and out. So I have some blue squares and I have some red squares. I'm gonna go, since it's seven across, and I know they're like, the blue, red yarn is thicker than the blue yarn. But I think, you know, most, most of the time, like it'll work itself out. Uh, this'll stretch a little and this won't and so it'll it'll be fine but I, um i'm gonna go like red blue red blue red blue um and then go blue red blue red blue red because it's odd number across you go seven across and nine down so if i alternate red blue red blue i can alternate all the way around uh and yeah it is uh so it's not that much difference in size but there is a size difference and it's because this red yarn is much thicker than the blue yarn, but they're both four weight. So they need to just play nice together when I start putting these together. Uh, I think I have 25 or 30 of them done to this point. Uh, so I did work on them one evening. Um, I did probably, well, I must have about 30 done, maybe more even, I don't know. But I sat one night and figured out, you know, figured out the pattern uh, and learned the pattern so that I could just take the little circles and a skinny yarn to work with me and work on them that way. Uh, because I do like to have a project to work on at work. So um, the the yarn that I'm using for the red is uh, Karen One Pound and it's scrap yarn. I mean, it, this is what I had left. It's called Scarlet is the color and obviously it's one pound it's four weight it's acrylic uh, i think everybody pretty much knows what the Karen one pounder looks like i hope i have enough i think i should because i think i have about 20 red ones done already but i haven't counted them so i'm not sure but i wanted to show you because this is so interesting to me i haven't woven in any ends obviously but you start with you start with the circle and then you turn it into the square and like, so now it's a square. But when you are doing the second round, because it's two rows of your color, and then you go back to the white for the third, uh, for, well, the fourth row, because row one, row two, and then a third row. So when you're putting the third row on, on your sides, you create the corner. For So what was the corners here are now on my finished one, these were the corners before, here, here, and here. And so to the corner, what, what you thought was going to be the corner becomes the side, and the side becomes the corner. So I thought that was so weird, um, I, like just different. I've never crocheted anything that does that before. Uh, what, and I, I, you know, I like to make squares. I make a lot of squares, uh, and I've never had a square... I'm just gonna show you so you can see more of what how it what I'm talking about. Um, so now I just finished on the second side, and see how now this is gonna be my 
this is going to be the corners now. Whereas before this was part of, you know, so it turns like you turn it sideways as you crochet it and make what was sides corners and what was corners sides. And I just think that's so unique. I've never seen that happen. So anyway, I wanted to just show that to you. Uh, so anyway, my red yarn is the Karen one pound. The white yarn I'm using is uh, Mainstay Acrylic. And I found these big balls. And so I thought I would, I think it says I would need 500 yards of white. And this is 798 yards. Uh, again, 100% acrylic. Um, I think this is the Walmart one. And I never, I don't, I don't, I think it's the first time I've ever seen them in such a big ball. And so I bought some. I don't remember how much I paid. I don't even know how long I had it. Um, but when I pulled it off my shelf, I thought I was pulling off a Karen one pound because I have all these big cakes or big balls up at the top. And I was like, I didn't know Mainstay. I didn't remember Mainstay had such a big, you know, I was able to find such a big, big one of those. And then the um, blue yarn that I'm using is uh, Lion Brand's Pound of Love. Again, it's the four weight, but it's the thicker four weight. Remember, it used to be like a three weight. It used to look like it, but now they've made it thicker. Uh, and so this one is called Maybe, um, but it is the pound of love. And that's what I'm using for my blue squares. So it is thinner than the Karen one pound, but um, I think it'll be okay. Uh, and the, it's, the Karen one pound, I think, is just a thick four weight because this blue seems to be the same weight as the white you know the same thickness so i'm just going to stick this back in its little bag so it stays together really nice <laughs> because this came in a big bag of its own and that's how i stored it and i think it's a good way to keep it so that's one of the projects i've been working on and i'm liking the progress so far I don't think I'll have any trouble getting it done by the end of the month. Um, if I stick to just, well, maybe four, four projects, um, kind of, uh, kind of more. Um, I, I want to, I mean, my, I have to have this done by the end of the month. I need to get the um, Glitter Delight project done because they sponsored, they sponsored me with the yarn, so I need to do something with it and I'm creating a pattern which I haven't started on. I wanted to start on it yesterday, but I was just too tired. But I know what I want to do now. So that part I got worked out. So that's something I want to work on. And I'm hoping it won't take that long because Glitter Delight is a thick yarn. So the next thing that I am working on uh, that I started yesterday because I wanted something I could just sit and not have to really think too much about. And I had promised my grandkids that I would make them this this it's called nautical spoons um I, I guess it's a game that pirates used to play or ship people you know they used to play on on ships and you would use spoons and cards uh but in the crochet world we make a bag and then we make anchors and seagulls and fish and starfish instead of using spoons uh so I believe you just crochet like two sides of this. You don't really stuff them, I don't think. Maybe this one you stuff. Um, but I think, you know, just having the, the double thick yarns might be enough. Um, and so, anyway, that is what I'm working on. I started the bag because my philosophy is, and I want to show you what the bag looks like better. Um, my philosophy is, if I make the bag, then I can put all the stuff inside the bag <laughs> as I make it. So there, this is, don't look too close. There we go. It's mesh and then it's got the, like where this comes up, it goes all the way up to make the handles. So I think that's really cool. Um, but probably you crochet all the way around because you make it in my, around to begin with. I'm not, the, I'm almost that far. This part is, the mesh is 39 rows and I think I have 34. Eight here I mean 39 I think I think I need one or two more rows of mesh it's 20 rows of mesh altogether and 39 rows at, at this point 
So you make the bottom and it should sit. It's got like where you could sit it flat. And again, this is scrap yarn. Um, so I had this and I didn't have enough. I started the mesh with the purple, with the solid purple. And it looked okay, but I was going to run out. I was not going to have enough of the solid purple to go through all the mesh and make the handles and the rim. So I had this um, variegated, which I just totally love the way it looks now. So it will look like this. The yarn, by the way, the yarn is sitting inside the bag, which is kind of a nice place to keep it. Um, so it's going to like come up. These are the solid parts. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> anyway, this is the, where it was solid. It's hard to see it because the variegated is kind of busy, but I totally think it's really cute. I like the colors. So then I'm going to do this, um, this solid part here back in the purple, the solid purple. And I'm not sure about the handles. I'm debating. I mean, they should like look like they go all the way up. But the solid part, I mean, this rim here is going to be purple. So I think um, I might do the handles, the mesh, or the same, the variegated as like the mesh and do the tie in the purple. Um, because if the tie is in the mesh, you're going to like this, you you might have a hard time seeing it. So I think I want to do the tie in the purple. And I'll definitely do the, the top rim in the solid purple. So that's that, that project. And that's what I've been working on this week since I finished all my other really big projects. Uh, and I want, uh, we are going on vacation at the end of the month. And anything that I don't have done by then is going on vacation with me so that I can have it done at the end of the month. <laughs> but I think, I think I can get caught up with Nan's next knots um, and work on some of these projects because these are, these little ones are really good for in the car. And I don't, I want to have the bag and all the little critters done because I'm going on vacation with my grandkids. And so I think it would be really awesome if I have this done in time to give it to them while we're on vacation. Hey, let's play a game and pull it out and then they can have it. And it's, since they have a boat, um, it would be fabulous uh, for them to take it on the boat. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and sharing and commenting. I do read all the comments. Uh, I try to keep up on that very well. Um, so thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.